Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I've been so MIA. Um, I've just been traveling and, you know, having family down and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I am going to try and catch up. I'm going to throw a bunch of things into one video today. I'm going to do Mommy Mailbox and then a few of the products that I got from Sephora and then a few other products that I wanted to show you. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so first we'll start off with this mommy mailbox I did get a another one and I am so late on this video I was actually supposed to do it the beginning of November and time to just not allow for me to do that so I just want to jump in and I want to show you guys what is in this box because um, it came with a quite a few good things but I absolutely love these boxes I told you that last time and this one has so many smell good things, I just can't get over it. Okay, so the first thing is this Mood Candle um, Company, and it's Bliss. Oops. And it smells divine. Like, I can't even tell you. It's almost like a lavender with like, I just don't even know. But it absolutely smells amazing. Like... Okay, I mean. next is Mix Bin. These are headphones and they have the little microphone hooked onto them. So if someone calls you and you're listening to music, you can just click answer and you can actually still talk to them and not have to worry about taking your headphones out. And they come in all kinds of vibrant colors. They also have little chargeable things on their page little keychains like little hearts and a bunch of really cute stuff so I'll leave the link below but be sure to check them Booster. out. Booster and Prince. These are matches and the cool thing about these matches is they have purple tops. Um, if you're someone who's girly and likes fun things like that these are just totally cute especially the packaging and then the purple tops instead of you know the boring old red one. Next we have a this is by Caitlin Wilson, and it's Rugs, Pillows, Fabrics, and More, and it's a mouse pad, and I just love this pattern. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's so chic and colorful. Would be so pretty for an office area. The Sweet Pea and Clover Shea Butter Soap, and it smells, I mean, so good. Like, there's just certain scents that just get you, and these in this box are straight on for me. They smell absolutely amazing. Mmm. I mean, you put this in a in your bathroom or guest bathroom, and it's gonna smell up the entire room. You don't even have to worry about you know lighting a candle if you don't want to. Just put out a good bar of soap. These mommy mailboxes is you get stuff like this. This is, you know, super moms like you, is what it says, and it's like, this is a coupon for the Doctor Online, the Amwell, which is really awesome, but I love that this kind of box thinks about those important things like that, and it's helping, you know, companies who aren't on the grid yet and want to get a build up and really want to put their product out there they kind of give them that chance and I think that's really really cool so that was my mommy mailbox I tell you what seriously I've been waiting to use that candle and now I can finally use it because it smells so good okay so next I want to jump in and talk about a few products um first off we'll take bloop, 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 bloop. First off, we will talk about the Faye 4. This is the Beyond Big Shampoo and the Let's Go Light, the Lightless, Lightweight Shine Conditioner. So these two together are going to give you that volume, but also give you that lightweight shine that you need. Um, I do wish that this shampoo was had a little bit more lather to it, but I think that might be for the volume. You know, if you have something that's too soft or too um, heavy, it can weigh down and it's not going to give you the volume. So this cleans your hair, but also helps give you that full volume. And I'm not kidding, guys. I was actually using these together 
I was actually able to go like a few days without washing my hair and not even needing dry shampoo like it and I was also able to wear it straight which is a big deal for me because wearing my hair straight especially at this cut is like really really hard it's not hard it's just hard for me because I like to have you know if I don't have volume in my but when my hair's like that it's really flat and I just can't wear it like that so this leaves it straight but also gives it a good amount of volume so wearing it straight is really easy but anyways I'm going to keep trying these and continue to let you know how I like them but so far so good of course because Bay 4 products are just bomb next are these masks from Sephora I haven't used these yet but this is the pearl mask it's the face and the eye mask I see these all the time but I finally picked some up and I am really excited to try them so if you've tried these let me know how you like them and which ones are your favorite. Okay, next is this Josie Moran. I hopefully I say her name right, but it's the Whipped Argan Oil and it's actually in Apple Crisp, which is beyond perfect for this time of year. Like it just, it's, I mean, seriously, it's like a, if you get the caramel apple cider from Starbucks, this is totally what it smells like. Like, totally what it smells like, and it feels so good. I like to use this on my hands and put it on my cuticles, but the scent is just divine. Okay, next I have this Perfect Palette Mask and Balm Duo. This is by Kaplan MD, and I actually received this as a gift a few weeks ago. And what you do is you take this... This is the lip mask, and you just spread it on with, it comes with like a little spatula, and you just take it and you put it all around your lips, and you put it on pretty heavy, and you're going to leave it on for about 5-10 minutes, I believe, and then once you fully wipe it off, you're going to put the um, lip balm on, the treatment, and these two together are going to make your lips feel very plump and very soft. What it does is it's putting all that moisture back into your It's going to give you a natural plump and you don't have to worry about getting your lips done or overlining or you know any crazy tactics. You just naturally do it by putting the moisture back into your lips. I believe this is only like 20 something at Sephora and totally worth it especially for the winter season I suggest that you go out and get this if you have problems with your lips being dry okay so next I picked up the Marc Jacobs this is like their primer it's invisible undercover perfecting coconut face primer okay so this stuff to me is like very liquidy um moisturizer like to me that's what this is so as you can see it gives just like that really pretty moisturized glow to the skin it doesn't have a silicone base like a lot of primers do so like I said it's just like a very liquidy moisturizer um, but it leaves your skin with that really pretty glow which is nice to have if you're not wearing makeup and it's nice to have if you know you're putting a uh, liquid foundation on over it if you can't afford this one, because I think it's like $44, and let's be real, I mean it doesn't give you a whole lot, so you are going to probably run out in no time, but I found this Age Perfect Cell Renewal. It's a gold serum, and it's by L'Oreal, and I'll show you. It kind of does the same thing, except it has like gold tint into it. But see how it just gives that moisturized like glow and this one actually has more of a scent to it unlike the coconut one which really doesn't have a scent at all but this one gives the same kind of glow you can see it gives the same kind of glow though except it does have that hint of gold Let's see if you can tell but it's really pretty so I mean I don't know the ingredients. I haven't read them, so I can't compare those. I don't want to call it 100% a dupe type thing, but if you can't afford this or don't want to pay the money for this, this was actually only like 6 bucks or 6.99. So, yeah. 
I love this stuff though. I've already used a good bit of it. This is the Shade and Light palette. This one is actually the contour palette. And it looks like this. Um, I picked this up because I saw Nicole Guerrero use it a lot. And so I really, really wanted to try it. She raved about it. And I do love this. The only thing, um, my Sam, my Sam, my Sam, <laughs> my friend Sam actually warned me about this <clears throat> a long time ago when it first came out, when I first wanted it. And she said that the powders were like very, very soft. And so she ended up returning them, uh, returning it. But it does, they are very, very soft, meaning when you put them onto your skin, they are, the powder is just going to like jump onto your skin. So it doesn't really hold onto your brush so well as soon as you put it on the skin. Like it's very soft so it dusts, it can dust everywhere. But all in all, I, I, I really like it. I think it. the colors are all really pretty. This yellow is really pretty for underneath the eye. I would go out in store and I would, you know, test it and rub your finger on it and see if you like the texture. They are very smooth, so, but I really do like it though. I think the colors are really pretty and I'm wearing it today. And you just, I kinda like mixing them just to kinda make my own shape. This is the Tartlet palette. This is the In Bloom. I've used this just playing around a few times. Um, I haven't done anything too dramatic with it yet, but I do plan to do a tutorial over it, so be sure to watch out for that one. But um, this one, how it's different from the other one, is this one actually has more shimmer to it. It's a deeper palette. It has, you know, the golds and um, I don't even know what color this is. It's like a... I'll show you some of the... Some of the shimmer shades. There's like this one... And then there's this one. These shades are really good. I think the pigment is great. Um, you really don't have to, especially the deeper shades, you don't really have to put your hand in too much. But I think those colors are absolutely gorgeous, especially if you like, you know, the deeper shades. But yeah, so if you are wanting to know if you should purchase this or not, it's all on what shade you like and if you like glitter because this does have glitter in it but I knew that I loved the first one so I was like I definitely have to get the second one especially because it was really like these colors that sold me I was just like those are so pretty and so I have to try them so anyways I do like this and I do plan on you doing a look over it so be sure to watch out for that okay guys well I don't have anything else to show you um but I did just want to show you a few products that I've picked up and that I've been loving and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will answer them for you and I will see you guys next time